Nature conservation has long been considered incompatible with the private sector. But leaders and experts on both sides now largely agree that working together is not only desirable, it is essential. The private sector uh, has so much influence on our world that we have to engage with it. IUCN is the largest global environment organization. In 2007, it joined forces with one of the world's leading suppliers of cement aggregates and concrete, Holcim, to better protect biodiversity, the very variety of life on Earth. What's exciting about working between IUCN and the private sector is there's learning on both sides. We both uh, move ahead together. And Over the years, Holcim has undertaken numerous quarry rehabilitation projects around the world. Through its partnership with IUCN, Halsim will improve biodiversity management throughout the life cycles of its sites. We have had a lot of focus under the ground, but now we feel that there is also need uh, for more focus above the ground. And that's where the protection of species comes in, the protection of some of the habitats, and uh, more importantly, the whole ecosystems. When engaging with a company, it is key to identify industry leaders in order to not just change that company, but through that change, influencing the rest of the industry. And IUCN definitely identified the leader in this particular sector. One of the first moves was to create an independent expert panel. It's a group of individual experts in different areas of biodiversity conservation, management and corporate policy, which has been put together to act as an advisory body for Holcim uh, on its aim of getting a biodiversity policy designed and implemented in the company. I think what the ICN has uh, strived for and probably attained is to find a, a mix of expertise in the different uh, fields surrounding this, this uh, assignment. Also looked at a geographical split and uh, probably a diversity of experiences which we can bring uh, to, to the problem. The panel was set up to function independently. I think it's a safety valve for everybody concerned um, that um, IUCN is not necessarily bound by what the panel says uh, and the panel can make recommendations which it feels are correct from the scientific point of view but Holcim is not bound um, to accept these recommendations. The goal of the panel is really to help uh, Holcim in developing its biodiversity policies and strategies and to look at the various management tools which they have got for doing this and to suggest ways of improving it. The panel has visited diverse sites at various stages of operation, including the active Holcim quarry in El Puente, Spain. This site won a European award for ongoing rehabilitation. The panel is the bridge and the driver of this collaboration between Holcim and IUCN. Uh, thanks to the knowledge they have built by visiting many of the Holcim sites, now they are developing a biodiversity management system which will capture all the knowledge and their advice for Holcim. Their advice will uh, influence our biodiversity management approach uh, that part of the work has to be brought to conclusion and then it is Holcim's homework to implement that. Part of that homework will mean reacting to local needs in terms of business and natural resources. To, to link with what's happening in the local community, balancing the business needs with the biodiversity needs as well as the needs of what the local stakeholders want and coming up with um, a solution that works for everybody. Another way to address local issues is by the development of country-based agreements. A number of those have been established between IUCN uh, offices at the local level and uh, wholesome country operations. And the content of this agreement is very specific to the country issues. Yeah, achieving a balance between the environment, uh, the economic world and the social world is, is key to sustainability. The 
but they're not always trade-offs. Sometimes you can find we can get a positive on all three things at once, and that's what we're looking for. How can a company make profit? How can it do the right thing with local communities and in an environmentally sustainable way? The answer has become far clearer through this collaboration between IUCN and Holsim. The f- first key learning we have had is the understanding of biodiversity and its relation to ecosystems. The second one of this is the development of a biodiversity policy for the group that is consistent and worthwhile. The third one is to be more effective and more efficient in the rehabilitation of our quarries. And the fourth one is that we have learned that there is a wealth of knowledge available in IUCN, part of that which we access through the use of the independent panel. Through this collaboration, Holsim and IUCN are giving more weight to biodiversity conservation when making decisions on the life cycle of quarries. The goal is to create a reference for the rest of the building materials industry.